Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX, and today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to tap to power from the third row seats. One of my friends out of North Carolina is also a GX owner. He is an electrical engineer, and he came up with this very crafty idea of tapping into your third row seats the power that comes from their third row seats uh, and converting it into real power so that perhaps you can go ahead and connect the 12 volt cigarette lighter and also some USB ports. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is for you to access from the third row seats. Now, this is only for those of you with GXs that have powered third row seats, all right? If you don't have that, then you know this is not gonna work for you. Let's get on with it. I'm going to show you how easy it is. As you can see, I already removed the third row seats. I have a video that you know just will show you exactly what I did and how it was done. And uh, of course, as you can see, if you don't have these buttons over here, that means that you don't have a power third row seat. I happened uh, to have my vehicle with that uh, other package, I guess a little more upscale package, and it had that option. I didn't need those third row seats, so they went out to make more space. I'm going to be building a platform and uh, perhaps, you know, something to put my my uh, refrigerator and a couple of drawers over here. But once I removed it, uh, you're going to be left with this. OK, you have this plug on one side. That was for one of the chairs over here and this plug over here for the other side. All right. So. If you, as you can tell, these are the ones that my buddy uh, fabricated here, all right? And uh, this will plug directly to this one. And this other one that I purchased from him will go directly to this one over here. Now, how is how does this work? Well, these are always hot, okay? They're always connected. They're, they're connected directly to the battery, so they're always going to be hot. And uh, so let's check 12.02, the same thing over here, 12.02, 12.03. And uh, that means that it's constant hot, okay? So you don't have to turn on the auxiliary key. You don't have to do anything like that. It's always gonna have constant power coming to these connections. Now, obviously I already you know peeled these, so can't let them touch. And what I'm gonna do is simply disconnect it now I'm going to disconnect the negative uh, from the front. Disconnected a negative. Gotta double check. And we're safe now. Okay guys, so what I did is you're looking at the right side, I guess, of the, the right side of the of the of the chair. This is where the connector that I plugged in, I stuffed it back in there. Because what I want to do is I just want to run, I'm going to go ahead and zip tie the positive and negative cable that comes from the right chair, right chair connector, this way. Lexus already has these clips, so I just ran them through there, but of course I'm going to do a little zip tying here, kind of clean it up a little, and uh, bring it in just through here. And as you can tell, well it does. it's not going to reach all the way because I want this to continue in through here, up through where the jack is, and this is where I'm going to put, in this upper one, this is where I'm gonna put the on and off switch, the cigarette lighter, and the USB as well, okay? It's gonna be right over here. And if you guys are familiar, obviously if you already own a GX, you're gonna know that you have this little compartment here. And what I ended up doing was, well, it's kind of a long story, but you know, I, I, I installed a, a gull wing and uh, so I had to remove all these panels. When I had it removed, I took advantage. I guess I could have just drilled through here. It's not a big deal. Um, but I wanted the convenience of having, since it was already out here, I went ahead and I drilled a hole and then I, I just put a little grommet in here okay and this is where my cables are going to come out of um, eventually 
and you know they're gonna plug to the back of um, you know the 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 uh, the USB and the 12 volt which is gonna be right here all right so how does this work you see this this is from my the the left chair connector all right it's already plugged in here so he sells them he doesn't sell them as a pair he sells them individually and I will put it at the end of the at the end of the video I'll, I'll tell you how you can get a hold of these and of course it's gonna be in the video description um, with his, his information but this I need to merge the red with the red and the black with the black before it gets to the on and off switch up there so in order for me to do that I don't want this you know out here I don't want it exposed because I'm gonna build a platform so what I want to do is I want to put this I want to stuff it in here all right there's plenty of room back there and I'm just gonna take this to the back run the wires up here and then they're gonna merge of course I'm gonna have I have some uh, extra 14 gauge wire uh, uh, there plenty of it so I'm going to attach this and I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna run it up here okay so for this next step all right we're gonna be needing the following we're gonna need these uh, 14 these are 14 to 16 gauge um, wire connectors these are the solder butt connectors all right and I'm also gonna be uh, using this um, uh, wire stripper right here and a little torch all right one of these things right here so I'm just going to go ahead and merge the extra cable that I'm gonna need that's going to go up there and uh, connect it to the existing uh, connector uh, that I have right here. Okay, as you can see, I went ahead and cleaned it up. Just ran it through there. Okay, so it's not gonna get in the way of my platform. And uh, ran them in through here. And now at this point, they are here. And I'm gonna explain a little bit more as to why I put them at this point before I put them up here. This is the reason why I still will not run those cables all the way to the top. I am going to put this fuse in between, all right, in between the, the connectors over here and the actual switch for the 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, system, okay? So let's go ahead and cut this out. This, by the way, was from uh, the lights, all the, all the parts that I used uh, that were discarded after I replaced my lights and all this other stuff. So they came in handy, right? So there you go okay I'm gonna go ahead and attach this once I get the red on red and black on black connected then this is gonna go to my red this is gonna be the one that's gonna connect to the on and off switch on that uh... okay guys so I went ahead like I told you you know you have the connector from the right this is a little recap running the wires through here I extended the wires okay because it wasn't enough uh, with 14 gauge then I went ahead and I moved them in there 
I went ahead and I butted the left seat with the right seat, red on red, black on black. But then I did a little something. On the, after, after they were merged, I went ahead and I connected the fuse, one single cable, a red cable, with a fuse to the two uh, red cables, okay? From both seats, all right? So two merged into one, then your uh, fuse, and then we have one red, one black. By the way, on the black one, I merged both of the negatives and then into one cable. That one cable does not go to a fuse or anything like that, okay? It just stays separate. So now we find ourselves up here with the red and the black. And at this point, you can just go ahead and boom, you see? It's going to be clean right there. So now we're going to take this cover, all right? Uh, we're gonna do some measurements. We're gonna check out the template. We're gonna drill some holes and uh, start making some connections up here. Friends, for this next step, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we already removed the cover, as you all recall. And what I'm doing, I'm just using this clamp over here. There's different ways of doing it. You can use a marker, you know, just mark it off. All right, that's one way. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drill in you know, three holes right here with their existing hardware that they, they provided. And then I'm just gonna use a deburr. Well, first I'm gonna do a little drill, drill a little hole in the center. And this deburr that I have right here is large enough to cover that hole. And uh, then we'll go ahead and add our, our components, okay? So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Dremel tool and just kind of clean it up a little bit around here, okay? So as you can see, I already uh, placed the on and off switch in there. Obviously, I need to uh, wire it up once I, I put it in there. In the middle, I'm going to do, I'm going to place the, the 12 volt cigarette uh, lighter plug in there, okay? There it goes, just like that. And then at the very end, I'm going to put the, this is where the USB will go, okay? Now, the reason I'm sharing this with you guys is because I've, I've never done this before. So, you know, I just feel you know we're missing out on a lot of projects so uh, we can do this hey sweetheart so you have all three of them there and now what I'm gonna do is we want to start screwing them from behind so right there Okay, I don't want to over tighten them, but here you go. So, one, boom, and then right here. Let's see if we can uh, wire them up. If you can kind of see this, it gets a little confusing with the uh, connections. So, the kit, this particular kit, has this setup right here okay so you're gonna have one single one single cable that's positive and it's got a bare lead that one's gonna go to the positive uh, cable that I'm running out okay the one that's coming from the chairs where the power's coming uh, the negative one single negative wire that's coming from the chairs is going to go to the negative and of course the positive to the positive 
And then from here, you're gonna have these connections that look like a W or an M or however you wanna call it. But, you know, you can uh, go ahead and plug one to the brass or gold colored uh, connector on the on and off switch. Okay, that, that's gonna be the negative. So one of them goes to the negative in the center and the other one goes obviously to the negative for the USB, all right? And then we're gonna have uh, the same thing with the positive. So on the switch, the on and off switch, it's got two silver colored uh, connectors. Those silver colored connectors are for the positives, all right? Not for the negative. The negative, the gold one is gonna be for the, for the negative, all right? So anyway, this is ready. This should be ready to go um, to connect it to that other uh, wires, okay? The wires from the seats where we're gonna get our power. Let's go and test it out. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully the GoPro is picking it up. But I have the positive and I have the negative. And remember what I told you. You know, you got the positive and negative coming out of here. So I just want to test it out. I want to see if this is working. So before I, you know, go hardcore with this, I am just going to make some loose connections here. Okay, so the cables are separated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go connect the battery and, uh, we're gonna go test it out because remember, these wires should be hot. Okay, friends, the moment of truth. Let's see, let's flip the switch. Boom, there we go, guys. We're running 12 volts from the battery. All right, so we should be good. There's the connection, guys. Oh, you can see it right there. All you have to do is just put it there. It's time to turn it on. Boom. Got 12 volts. And this is what I've been waiting for. Uh, so I'm going to be running, I'm going to be uh, installing a um, hood mounted solar panel and with a LiPo battery, 100 amp uh, LiPo battery from Uniwix. And I can't wait to do that review. But in the meanwhile, I don't think this is, I didn't want this for the refrigerator or anything like that. It might be able to handle it, but I, I don't trust the, the gauge, the wires. But what I do want it for is to light up my awning. So check this out. Let's go ahead and plug that in and let's go see if it turns on. Okay, so we're right here, and uh, <laughs> we got light, man. We got power. Isn't this awesome? Yes, and this is an LED uh, strip light from the Iron Man awning, so it doesn't really consume a lot of power. And um, so I would trust, you know, if I'm, I'm setting up camp, you know, just... You know, you want to keep it kind of light. You don't want a, a big light source. You know, you can just go ahead and do this right here. And uh, you can also power your, your, um, you could also power your, your, uh, uh, you know, whatever you have that's USB, you know, like my GoPro batteries and my um, phone. So it's really, really cool. Really happy. And, you know, so you don't drain the battery or anything like that. You do have that light indicator right here. Okay, that's gonna tell you, hey man, you know, uh, you better turn it off, you know, so that you don't have a dead battery. Turn it off, and of course, it shuts, shuts it down over here as well. But if this is the case, you know, just remember, you know, you're not gonna have power to anything here. So that is pretty neat. Turn it back on, light is back on. I am happy. Anyway, that's going to do it for that's going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, you know, support my buddy. You know, he's the one that created that. Uh, he came up with that uh, ingenious idea, 
and uh, I am so happy that I met him and I talked to him and uh, he's one of us he owns a GX as well so go support him all right take care guys